All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing another Q&A for The Walking Dead for today. First question comes from Julio uh, Bernal, and he says, Q&A, Trev, do you think we will see Morales? If so, when? <laughs> Julio, stop! Stop talking about Morales! Stop it! Seriously, guys, it was the top comment in the last Q&A video. Guys, you got to stop, okay? You got to stop. Let it go, okay? Just let it go. It's gone. It's gone, all right? It's gone. It's cool. It's gone, all right? We're probably never going to see him again. Stop talking about it. This is what I know every year. Same thing. Same thing every year. When we start running out of things to talk about, here's what we get. We get questions about Morales, okay? That's what we do every time. Um, no, okay, until, until we see something, let's just assume that Morales is dead, okay? Guys, are we good? Julia, are we good? Okay, cool. Uh, next question is from Salma Abbas, and he says, uh, Trev, how old do you think a kid should be to watch The Walking Dead? Um, that's a very good question. So how old do I personally think a kid should be to watch The Walking Dead? Uh, I think that if I had to pick, I'd say... Probably at least at least 14, 15, and if you want to be more conservative, you know, if you've got parents that uh, that, are, that buy into the whole, you know, everything they see, mind programming, psychology, this kind of child development stuff, then maybe you want to push that up to like 17 years old, something like that, 16. But, you know, that said, I mean, there's kids, some kids who watch horror movies at a really young age, so like around, you know, 7, 8, 9. Uh, Children of the Corn was the first horror movie I saw at my friend's house, and that was when I was... 11. Yeah, 11 years old, and it was uh, it was pretty messed up. So, <laughs> children of the corn. Uh, by today's standards, it's probably not much, not very impressive, but, uh, you know, I think most people would remember their first horror movie that they saw, or first horror TV series. So, But The Walking Dead is the best one I've ever seen as far as horror goes. It's my favorite, for sure. But write your comments below on what was your first horror TV show or movie you guys saw, and how old you were. Uh, I'm interested to see, for Walking Dead fans, you know, how how old were you guys when you when you saw your first uh, horror uh, anything? So, uh, but yeah, I, I'd say at least fourteen. I, I'd have to go with because there's some stuff you get like Carl gets his eyes shot out, stuff like that. You've got No Way Out. You've got some darker themes here and there. You got the Governor. You've got uh, Terminus. But part of the way they did uh, Terminus, uh, kids could probably miss it. Kids could probably glance over it and not notice because you know how kids' attention spans are. That uh, that the termites, uh, Gareth and the others, are you know eating people. Granted, Bob does wake up and stuff, and uh, yeah, so it's uh, but it's it's maybe for a kid they might not realize what's happening. So you know I, I can see that. Um, Marilyn S says with sand. Could they be the whispers that Tara and Heath had run into? So I don't think so. I mean, this is a common question a lot of people have been bringing up. Uh, I've watched the clip a few times. They don't look like they're holding anything, you know. And, and in order to see whispers, some people think that because of the, you know, the size of their uh, their skins or whatever, that maybe it's uh, it's. But you've got actors underneath there, and even if they're very skinny and they don't eat too much, um, still it's going to pack it out a little bit. I personally would go with. Um, if they're not holding anything or we don't see any kind of zipper or any like uh, sewing or anything, then it's probably not a whisperer, I'd say. So we've got a ways to go. I did a whole video on that anyway, too. Uh, it's in the channel. We did that, what, last week? I think so. Okay, Clud says, uh, Trav, do you think Daryl and Rosita could form some type of bond? There has to be a reason why AMC paired them to go with Denise just like Abraham and Sasha. And I'll add to that, just like Rick and Michonne in Clear. And I would say, I think you've got it okay, Cluds. Uh, I think that would be a great, um, you know, idea for them to go with in the series. I personally would like to see it because you have, of course, uh, Michonne and Rick, that they go on the run and clear together, and they start to form some kind of a bond, and then later it's just natural that it just happens. Um, Daryl and Rosita, yeah, you could definitely you could definitely see that, I think, you know. Um, yeah, I think it's a perfect uh, match. So we'll see what happens uh, this season. But um, I like it. I think it's a great idea for sure. Mm -hmm. Callum444 says, Hey, Trev, how many pets do you have now? So we have uh, five uh, pets, guys, right now. <laughs> yeah, Jess, we have um, we have the rabbit, really cute. His name's Bruce. Uh, they mostly comic book character names. Uh, we have uh, Goku, who's our first guinea pig, and uh, he's he's the best. He's he's, he's awesome. 
Uh, he's really cool. He's really smart, too. He responds to us. When I talk to him, he'll come over, and, and he, he's really fun. Uh, we have a female one, which the uh, name was originally Harley Quinn, but we, we don't use it very much because it's so long to say. Just call her sweetie. And uh, then we have uh, Gunther, who is uh, our white guinea pig, who is, uh, he's, yeah, he's named after the, uh, you know, the, the artist known as Gunther. If you don't know who that is, look it up on YouTube, and, and don't say I never did you a favor. Uh, look up Gunther, listen to a few of his uh, songs. It's pretty funny. Uh, music videos are hilarious. And then we have Vegeta, who is our hamster, who's fun. Uh, and, you know, he does his thing. He minds his own business. And once in a while, maybe sometimes we'll put the hamster in the guinea pig cage just to see how they uh, they respond. Uh, the female doesn't like him much. One time we put him in there and he started uh, putting her food into his cheeks. Hamsters can store a lot of food in their cheeks. Uh, and it actually goes back, like, in their body, like, down into their sides and stuff. So he was thieving her. He's stealing some of her food. And she saw him. And guinea pigs, man, they they love their food. So she bowled him over in about two seconds and broke one of his teeth. <laughs> So then we got a ball, we took him out. So that didn't last long. So the guinea pigs can play together, and then the rest, uh, the rabbit and uh, the hamster, they have to be by themselves. But that's what we got. So a uh, good question, Callum. Uh, next one's from Forbidden Evil. And he says, Hey, Trev, could you take into consideration doing a top five saddest moments or episodes in The Walking Dead? That would be great. So I have done stuff like that before for you, uh, Forbidden Evil, and there's some stuff in the channel you can check if you type in saddest or emotional moments. The thing is, is that they haven't changed that much over the season. So even though we had season uh, six and we had a lot of awesome parts all the way throughout it, I don't feel like there was maybe a sadder moment that might outdo one of the ones before, such as the death of Herschel, such as, uh, you know, Rick finding out Lori's dead. And, and so a lot of it is like the same thing, like it hasn't changed. So I wouldn't do another video usually on top five whatever if there hasn't been any kind of change to it. I update the top 10 best episodes. I, every half I include in the new ones. But if there are no moments that outdo the previous or it doesn't change, then there's no reason for me to do a video on it because the old one is still, even if it's from two years ago or a year ago, it still applies, so to speak, yeah. And then I'll do uh, just one or two more. Next one's from Will Turner Fan, AWE. Says, hey, Trev, uh, something for the upcoming Q&A. I read uh, Deny got a part in the upcoming Marvel movie Black Panther. Could that indicate that Michonne might be killed off? So, no, I don't think so. I think at this point we can say, uh, Will, um, that... Just because an actor or actress from The Walking Dead gets cast in something doesn't mean they're going to be killed off. But it is cool to hear that she's going to be in that because she was in the there was a Tupac special or Tupac movie she was doing as well where I think she was playing Tupac's mom. Is that right? Um, so I'm not I'm not sure about that, but I, I, I think that's what I read. So it doesn't mean that. And you had uh, Norman Reedus who's been doing lots of stuff, Triple uh, Nine for example, that movie and uh, Ride and all these other stuff. So it doesn't necessarily mean that. Uh, for sure. So, uh, and then, yeah, the last one will be from Charles uh, Bergenson. He says, Hey, Trev, Q&A. Uh, how would you feel if Glenn were to survive and Maggie were to get the bat instead? This would push Glenn over the edge and would be the perfect motivation for him to step up as a leader and be willing to do anything to make Negan suffer. Um, it would be amazing character development to see him go from not killing and living person to being as brutal as Rick, or probably more so, I would say. Uh, also, if the show follows the comics, it would be a pretty cool. It would be pretty cool to see Glenn and Rick fight and have uh, conflicting issues uh, in the future, uh, like Rick and Maggie in the comics. Uh, I know it would be brutal to see Negan kill a pregnant woman. Yeah, <laughs> I think it just got it right there. Uh, but it would definitely be more shocking and emotional than Glenn. Uh, yeah, I just uh, you know, it's it's not gonna. Ha let's just say it's not gonna happen, brother. It's it's not gonna happen. I. Almost guarantee you that's not going to happen. But uh, if they did that, oh my God, that would be crazy. And it would be good to see, uh, you know, Glenn have that kind of development in that. But uh, maybe I'll do, I'll do, probably do a Glenn spotlight video this week where I give my thoughts on him as a character throughout the series, knowing that he's probably going to be killed off in the in the premiere, most likely. Um, so, but if they if they swapped it like that, you know, I'm all for that kind of stuff if they want to do it. Uh, even, you know, everybody hates the Andrea death, but even that's like, okay, well, you know, the series goes on, it still worked out anyway. Like, you know, it'd be cool to see Andrea in the TV series. But, you know, now you have Michonne and Rick instead. And, you know, it goes forward. It works out. So, you know, I'm all for them kind of mixing it up and, and changing things. And, and I like it at the same time when it's close to the source material, too. So um, I kind of like it to be in a, in a medium there in between. I like it to be different. 
different enough, but not crazy different and not exactly the same as the comic books uh, so that it feels fresh. So I think they've got a, they've done a pretty good job of staying in that uh, medium uh, over the seasons. Some more similar than others, some more different than uh, than other seasons. Um, but yeah, it's just not going to happen, brothers, all there is to it. But I think it would be, it'd be traumatic for sure to see, and it would definitely get people talking. And that's something that The Walking Dead hasn't gone to that extreme, I don't think. But if they did, man, that would be uh, that would be crazy to see. But they have had Lizzie and Mika and that kind of stuff. So with the Grove and that, and that's pretty extreme too, because they're they're little girls, right? So that's pretty uh, pretty extreme also. So that'll be it for today's uh, Q and A, guys. Keep sending me your questions, and I'll keep adding them to the list, and we'll keep right on going. Why not? And that's it for today. So if you guys liked it, as usual, thumb it up, share, favorite, and if you do and you want to subscribe, bottom left to subscribe. We'll see you guys tomorrow. It's always this Trev. Same piece. See you guys. You better subscribe.